With how technology is changing so fast, with new technologies happening, with AI, and with new discoveries happening every single day, if you are not updated on the new changes that are happening in the world, you'll miss out so bad. That's why I'm creating this platform, Tech Wallet, where you keep updated on new emerging technologies, how to use AI significantly in your day to day, and what's really happening. We're not just gonna use you know AI tools in our daily activities but also explore other new techs. Try to utilize every opportunity that we get to learn new emerging tools so that we can stay updated. So in this video, I'm gonna dive deep into how AI is gonna shape the future and what um, you're supposed to know as a technical founder or a technical developer. Can you just vibe code and just, you know, um, create apps and softwares? Or there's a technical gap that you need to, you know, um, fill out in order to create scalable softwares that you know thousands and pot potentially millions of people are gonna use so in this video I'm gonna dive deeper into that in the previous video I actually talked about um, you know um, the basics of uh, what I what I was talking about today how to use the AI how I use AI in my day-to-day -day activities I have some videos on how I was using AI and how I use it to build my trading bot algorithm so you might want to check that out in the in my previous video that i uploaded and in this video it's a continuation of what i have in the past where i dive deeper into the technical use of ai and how it will face the how it will impact the future in terms of jobs um job job opportunity openings and how it will affect our basic life and our day-to-day -day. will there be jobs in the future will there be less jobs will there be any jobs or will there be future jobs stick with me here as we dive into these questions all right so AI yeah, can write very clean code, and I mean very good code, but then it doesn't really understand what is happening behind the hood, what is actually happening in the computer system. It doesn't understand the memory usage, it doesn't understand, you know, the CPU load, it doesn't understand the like best optimization in certain, certain circumstances, right? So let's say you want to write a code, um, and AI, so AI might can suggest a very let's say a recursive um algorithm which would which is very good which would pass you know a couple of certain um, test cases but when this particular software when this algorithm works in a particular software and this software is in production your whole system could crash because of you know how recursion um, works and everything ai could um okay suggest a particular approach for for you to you know used in a particular system that approach might work initially but when it's used by you know thousands of people it's used by millions of people your application could slow down because it doesn't really understand the memory usage like the way humans do it doesn't understand scalability it doesn't know <clears throat> you know when to trade off it might actually predict and make um certain you know certain decisions but like something like you know just creating just queries for let's say data sets for api calls it can actually do that but in production where lots of people are using it millions of people are using it your system could actually slow down so that's where real engineers comes in right so as an engineer you need to understand core concepts right that's why um, personally i am i trying to learn more and understand core concepts like you know operating system um system designs and how the computer actually works in order to understand you know how to build systems for um, not just thousands of people but for millions of people so that when you have a software that millions of people are using um, it will still be effective it will not be able to it will not be running slow it will run fast your you could get your information on time and everything so in as much as you are using ai in your daily life you know um, coding creating softwares and everything we need to understand core, core concepts like operating system, uh, computer system, and how the, you know, maybe the computer itself works. So that when you are scaling softwares to thousands of people, to millions of people, you can actually, you know, um, understand, you know, you can actually use um, thought process and terms like scalability to actually make your software efficient and very, you know, um, yeah, so that it will be able to run very fast because of, you know the size of um, or the number of users that you have it so a lot of people talk about how ai will completely um, replace software engineers but here's what i think 
I think, um, you know, because let's be real, AI is coding, you know, developing coding codes very fast as compared to how humans produce coding. So this is what we need to do as software engineers. We need to learn how to use AI in our daily life. We have to learn how to use AI to code. We have to learn how to use AI to design. We have to learn how to use AI basically in our daily tasks because it makes us very efficient and productive. It lets us to you know, complete tasks faster. So companies will be hiring and looking out for engineers who can actually um, you know, use these AI tools and AI agents in our daily activities, not just people who can actually code because those basic code are being done by this AI. So as an engineer, what is the extra value that you can produce? The extra value is you understanding system design operating system and computer architecture because these are the parts where you know ai is missing so as a software engineer your value that you can produce or the advantage you could have about um ab above an ai or about or above um other software engineers is you understanding this core concept the real engineering behind you know production and creating softwares that will give you um, an upper hand about above the others so this is why I'm creating this channel. I'm creating Tech Wallet, a platform where you know we'll be educating people on how to use um, AI tools and how to you know incorporate um, AI <coughs> into your workflow. Um, you understand core concepts, set up system design, set up operating system on this channel, so that we can educate ourselves and be engineers of value. Engineers of value. So AI will be doing a lot and. With a, in future, we might have AI that could have, that could be, you know, because of the fast pace of ad advancement of AI, we don't know what the future holds, right? So, in this channel, we'll be, you know, keeping ourselves up to date on the new changes and how to, you know, grow as AI grows. Because in time of history, we can see that whenever um, a new technology pops up or a new, you know, a new system comes up, the work um, or the job opportunities do not just go down they, they actually change so um, first we are looking for writers we wanted people who could just simply read and write but now reading and writing became you know something that everybody was able to do and wasn't no longer a unique skill so i'm seeing coding to be currently i mean for the past five years it's a skill that you know just special people could have but it will get to a point where you know basically everyone can code with ai so yeah you have to just keep evolving um stay in tune with current information so that we can adapt with time with you know uh, new technology and new changes that is happening all right if you made it to the end this shows how dedicated you are in learning more so yeah just subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notification and i promise to get more information on you know the use of ai how to you know incorporate it into your daily activities and how to actually use it um, for the best case so yeah just subscribe turn on your post notification like this video and just follow my journey whilst we dive into more things so that we can you know grow as software engineers kind of build ourselves learn new emerging tools that are happening and stay updated with um, any tools that could be of use in helping us improve so thank you for watching this video and you know remember to subscribe and hit the like button